geeks, hold on to your pants. This, this is awesome. Okay, this here is a rep wrap printer. And what's so important about this is it's, it's a, a really low cost way to get into 3D printing. It's cheaper than a MakerBot. Uh, it's cheaper than a lot of the you know um, brands now that are emerging in the space, and it's a real uh, customizable piece of kit. So if you're really into the tech, you can do cool stuff with this. And this one is extra cool. This is extra cool for me because if you look around here, check that out. You see this box there? It's a Raspberry Pi. I know. I know, it's a 3D printer running off a Raspberry Pi. I gotta to talk to the lady who's behind this awesome stuff. Molly, hi. Hi. Hello, how's it going? So, it's pretty good. So Molly, tell us about the RepRap and the Raspberry Pi. Okay, this is a Cell's Manwall RepRap, which is a fairly old <laughs> version of, of, of the RepRap. Um, it's a couple of years old, this one. Um, but I basically, I've added a Raspberry Pi to it here um, because the the print process on one of these can take several hours uh, and you don't necessarily want to leave your main computer plugged into it for several hours so what I've done is um, set it up so you generate all the G codes from a 3D model into what the printer actually prints on a computer with a faster processor then you upload it to, there's a web interface on the Raspberry Pi and you just hit the upload button, send it a file and then the Raspberry Pi sits there sending commands to the printer for the hours that it takes to print. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. So, if you were wondering what you were going to do with your Raspberry Pi when you rush out and get one, you think, well, I've got one, what do I do with it now? This is the kind of thing. And of course, that sort of distributed low power consumption computing is going to start appearing in products all over the place because we're making smarter products, connected products. That's really, really great thinking. And this, how much would it cost me to get into something like this? Okay, well, when I got this one as a kit two years ago, it was a four-finger price tag for the kit. Now, there's people here at the show around the corner who are selling kits for sub 500 a quid. And if you don't want to spend that much on it, you can go and download. This is an open source design. You can go and download the design. You can scrounge around the motors from old inkjet printers or whatever and scrape up a bit for credit card. You can put one together for a couple of hundred quid if you've got, if you've got the time to go and scrape Really? Them. Really? So that's what you need to do. That's why you've got to come to the Maker Fair, because the people here... All right, they're not sitting there looking at Gizmag and those glossy mags on the internet thinking, oh, I'm going to save up for one of those. They're making this stuff, so it's cool. They're recycling bits of old printers. They're plugging in really innovative new technologies. Uh, they're using web-based control, so lots of free open source stuff to plug together. And what you get at the end of it is magic. Do you have some big things you've printed? Um, this tray down here. Wow. Which is that is awesome. Designed a thing called OpenScan, which a lot of the um, soft, the actual plastics that make up the printer is designed in. It's actually a 3D programming language. You can write a short programming language, and it is. It's a, I don't know if you can see that. It's just a few lines of code there, and you can set the X and the Y size for the compartments and how many X and Y. It, that designs it into a 3D model, which you then run through the G code generation slicer program. And that's what it uploads to the printer, and out it comes. And, and the thing is, on the check that out. This is rock solid. It's very, very firm, solid structure. Because you know, if you haven't felt anything 3D printed before, you would feel that, and you wouldn't really tell any difference between that and something which has been injection molded or thermo printed. And what's really cool is if you look down here, various parts of the machine have been 3D printed as well. So here we are. You know, Terminator is a bit scary. Here's a self-replicating machine that's totally awesome. Molly, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. That's awesome. Back to the show.